Right guys, Corky Boy here and I'm here with another commentary. Um sorry for sounding so dull there. I'm just kind of a bit tired after a long school day. And after having to sprint for a train, my legs kind of ache right now. But I'll try my best to sound a little happier as someone requested me to sound like in my dead walk one. Anyway. I'm going to be talking about my channel's future. It sounds like a very boring topic, but I, I assure you, just because it says 15 minutes long doesn't mean it will feel like 15 minutes. I guarantee you this will feel a lot shorter because a lot of things will be happening. I'll be talking about very diverse topics and the gameplay should keep you entertained. With regards of the gameplay, it's a 70 kills with 27 deaths on countdown. I have a few other game plays that I could have used instead of this but I am not show countdown one in ages so I thought you know why not so firstly as most of you can tell I kind of stopped uploading as frequently and this is due to a number of reasons I don't like to, I don't like to be so pessimistic and downbeat but this is true Halo Reach is dying I mean those of you if you haven't noticed it you need to you know think about it who actually plays Halo nowadays because I'm the only person in my entire year group who plays Halo which is a bit bit difficult really because the one game I'm actually passionate about I can't talk to anyone about instead I have to talk to others about FIFA and Call of Duty which I don't have a problem about but it's just another factor but the other the main one is that Living Dead is just going it's just becoming so I guess you could call corrupt as it were I love playing Living Dead, but a few things in, it, in Living Dead are causing me not to want to play anymore. You know, most of you probably know this. Firstly, the lag. This is just completely unacceptable. In all other games, there is literally no lag. Call of Duty and Halo 4, there is no lag whatsoever. When there is, you know, you've got to wait a few minutes for host change. That's But then, that's, then it's sorted, you know. There's no constant lag. And the fact that sometimes... When there is a Mexican host, it is just absolutely horrendous. And even I say this, and I'm against racism, but Mexicans do kind of ruin the game sometimes. Because most of the time, when I see a Mexican in the lobby, I just become so annoyed when I die, and I always blame it on him and stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to go into the racism of Mexicans and stuff like that in this video. What I will go to say is that just the community on a whole is becoming really, really, really annoying. It is just such an aggravating community. It's as if it's some sort of cult that KD means skill. Because, as you all know, the Halo Reach, the Halo Tracker True Skill Leaderboards is actually done on, um, I think it's win percentage. Win percentage and KD combined. So, people who want to get high up there quickly, KD boost. And everyone knows who this, what this is, but I'm going to just tell you what it is. For those of you who don't know, KD boosting is where you play, but you play to boost your KD in a sense that you will not go in as a zombie and you will hide the entire round you are a zombie. And often this generally tends to be with good players because they're often they are trying to get into the leaderboards quickly. But it annoys me so much because I'm there I am, I'm the one zombie and there are two others. And maybe I've got my old little friend, the warrant officer as the other zombie and then I've just got the KD booster and this often happens on maps like Boardwalk where they'll sit on top of the glass at, hum at zombie spawn or they'll jump down the side etc etc and it annoys me so much I could make I wanted to make videos about it about showing how sad these people are I just find it so so boring to have to play and not play at the same time because going AFK is one thing. I mean, you can go AFK to KD boost if you like, you know, run to a spot as a zombie and then disconnect your controller and then, you know, maybe risk getting one or two deaths instead of the normal ten. But KD boosters, they they play. They play to KD boost. I don't know if you realise how sad this is, but when you next see a KD booster and you've turned into a zombie because of a silly death and you're really angry, Walk over to that KD booster and start hitting them to go into the you know the middle of the map. And 90% of the time you'll find that the people will respond and they'll run back into the side. And then you will just end up chasing them and trying to push them in. Which is what I usually do before I realise that I too actually am becoming a KD booster and then I go back in. 
to infect the other people. It just completely ruins the game. Because it just ruins the whole flow and the momentum of the game. And lots of people end up quitting and you end up having a game in the end with a last man with about three zombies. So that's one reason. That's the main, that's, other than lag, that's the other main contrib contributing factor. Now I might list a few more. For example, uh, truce and boost. This is something that has been around for a while now, boosting. Um, I actually hate boosters. And I think everyone stopped boosting more or less now. But what I don't like is the trucing. You know, boosting is gone by and done. I don't ever play a game nowadays with people in a party which would boost each other when they're last man, so direct paralleling and stuff like that. But what I will see is that the zombies would just continu continuously help, if you like, the human. Because what I find annoying is when you're trying to play Countdown and it's you and say three other humans left and those three humans are all trucing with another bunch of zombies so what happens is that you just end up getting targeted so hard by the other zombies which annoys me a lot especially on a map like um, Spooky Base where a, lot, a pile of zombies would run up the main street from the yellow lift They'd all be running and then they would suddenly all turn towards you while the others cower in a corner. That is something I do not like. Trucing is definitely one of the most annoying things in Halo Reach Living Dead at the moment because I actually started a second account with Negger's um, Xbox Live. I'm not going to reveal the game attack because it was actually part of a social experiment as well that I might end up revealing the results in the future but let's just say it got 97% um, avoid avoiding rate on the profile. Only three percent of people did not submit a review. So I made a lot of people angry on purpose, on purpose, to see the reaction and see how the community is going on to decide whether I still want to play Halo Reach anymore. So yeah, that's that's one thing. Because when I truce, I just mean you know, try not to go for me. Try to go for me a little less than the rest. Preferably not try and infect me, but try and infect everybody else. And then, when I become last man, you know, run run to some distant place or whatever, so that I don't end up killing you and you raging at me. But instead, what happens is that they'll run up to me, crouch around, teabag, sit around with me, and then essentially ruin the game as well. And even when I'm a last man, they'll sit around and camp right in front of me, messing up my radar, my aim assist, and the overall legitimacy of the gameplay, which is annoying. And thirdly, just the general charisma and aura that surrounds Living Dead because I seem to be getting a lot of positive things from people, you know, like, hey, I can see your YouTube, yeah, you're, you're so great. A lot of negative things as well. So when people get annoyed when I accidentally kill them or when I leave games unintentionally because of lag and stuff like this and connection timeouts, that's, that, those things annoy me because I'm, trying, I'm just trying to go into a game and play it as it were last year, you know? Well, not last year, more than a year ago. One and a half years ago, because last year the rock spot was a big thing and that needed to be eradicated, which it has done correctly. Because every time I go into Halo now, I either encounter lag spikes, which those of you know what they are, they're just, the gameplay will be going fine, the game will be going fine, then suddenly a period of high lag intensity will come around and you just die. And that's one of the most annoying things. Just general lag, lag in general, sorry, it's just really annoying. Because Living Dead is the only game type you can play with lag. And what I mean by that is you can't play Team Slayer or Team Snipers with lag, it just doesn't work. Because if you play Team SWAT, everything will be, every single time it will be a trade off. Team Snipers, every single time will be a trade off. And Team Slayer, it just doesn't work because you will not hit all the five shots. And those will be either trade offs or just uh, rage inducing deaths. So that's when you turn to Living Dead. And then you just can't kill any zombies with your shotgun. That pisses me off. And I don't tend to get pissed easily. And then just the general truth thing. Whenever I see any slow draz or watch me be, they always send me a truce message. And I'm like, for goodness sake, play the game properly. It is a free for all for a reason. I, I might team with you if you're, you know, on my friends list or a good friend I normally play with or if, if you've invited me and I'm playing with you because there's no point me playing with you and then me just killing you but if you're just going to come into a game, see someone good, 
I, I am quite good at living dead. And that's not pretentious, that's just a realistic statement. If you come if you come into a lobby, see someone good and then just say team, that just shows how much you want to break up the game and you just want to try hard and do so well. It annoys me so much. Because I, I think truthing honestly ruins the game. It just annoys me because then I have to purposefully steer away from that one player and then when I kill them I, I feel a slight guilt and then I get these hurtful comments. And that is mostly why I do not want to continue Living Dead. And it's a sad thing to say really because that's all my channel relies on. But then again, what is my channel, you know? I have been stuck at 450 or 70 or something for three months now and I said I want to get to 500 where I can do a very special video but it seems I'm just going to have to release that video normally as per usual because it seems that 500 subscriber goal is you know, ever distant it is just forever getting further and further away from me because despite having 470 what how many ever subscribers I have despite having that many subscribers I only seem to manage about 150 views on a video even despite you know, uploading every four days, every three days, sorry. And now, what, where, this annoys me because I get the same number of views on a video I put a lot of effort in compared to not so much. For example, the Dead Walk one, I would get the same number of videos on a tutorial, like an eight minute tutorial, as I would on a three minute, like on a 15 second karma. And I understand that the karma is the reason why most of the people are still here, but it just annoys me that, um, a few other unnamed channels are doing. Are putting in a lot less effort. Putting in a lot. So you're putting in a lot less effort. With a lot more low quality videos, and they're still coming close to my subscriber rate, and they're getting a lot more views. So I'm not really sure what's happened to my channel. I'm I'm happy that there are likes on it. You know, I'm not getting haters, but I'd honestly prefer to see more views because it's coming to the point now where I'm. I'm rounding up Halo Reach and I kind of want to end on a better note, you know. I mean, my, my big montage got about 700 views, which is, is, which is fine, but I'm a little bit apprehensive to release another one because I'm the last one was 12 minutes long and I kind of wanted more views because it's a longer video. But anyway, enough with the pessimism. I'm going to go be a little bit optimistic now. And the future of this channel, basically, from now, I've got about one and a half weeks to cap all of my Halo clips. I haven't been on recently due to work, personal issues, and my brother, Hawking FIFA. But I will intend to clip, um, clean my hard drive of all Halo clips because I will no longer be capturing or playing Halo Reach anymore because I'm fully done with it. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be recording all of my Halo gameplay and I will not be doing daily videos because the last time I did that I was a little bit disappointed because despite them being the same quality I would get about a third of the views just because it's daily so I'll be continuing to upload one every three days for the rest of the period for the rest of this year hopefully because I'll have enough content and this means that I will have all of my cameras, all of my assets, all of the, everything onto my computer and I'll release them slowly and I have a few projects to come up um, I'm planning so. I'm going to obviously finish the karma, which I think I've got four or five more episodes on. I mean, they're not great, but I've honestly stopped playing, so I don't have that many clips, so you have to bear with me. I've got the karma to finish, the single round clips will be continuing for a long time, and I will continue with the commentaries over gameplays. But the big thing to look out for is me and Negativity are doing a Living Day Dual Taj. It hasn't gotten very far due to um, various problems and problematic time schedules but negativity and myself will be doing an LD, L, Living Dead Dual Targe released before the summer holidays so look out for that me and my brother will also be doing our second Dual Targe and I will be using you could call it a Slayer montage but I'll just be getting together all of the clips I've played in Team Slayer, Team Snipers, SWAT and multi-team, shoving them all together and then I'll be doing two Living Dead Dual Targes because I could do a 17 or 18 minute long Ninja Targe but I'd rather just do you know two 8 minute Ninja Targes, I think that'll be much better so look out for me and Negativity's Dual Targe, me and my brother's Dual Targe a Swap Montage and two Living Dead Ninja Targes from myself in the future and as for clips I will actually not be here in England for the entire summer holidays aside from one week so that will be I will not be playing Xbox whatsoever and I will officially stop playing Halo Reach 
all of the new clips will be coming from my brother. I will be sourcing them from my brother and I will state that in the video. But otherwise, I will just be concentrating on Destiny because that is where I hope to lead my new channel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I hope it wasn't too long, boring, tedious and I hope you didn't like listening to me bitch. But, you know, anyway, if you like this, leave a comment or just like or whatever, do all that shit and I'll see you next time.